Hey guys, bringing you a uh, key repair video today on a HP Chromebook 11 G3 series computer. Uh, there's a link in the description showing you how to safely remove and install one of these normal size keys. Uh, this video uh, will be for a larger key, space bar, enter, shift, uh, these larger keys because uh, they're going to look a little different underneath. The reason why we're doing this kind of repair is because these keyboards and these type of computers cannot be easily swapped out. Uh, they're held in by plastic fasteners instead of screws. So when you take out this uh, keyboard, you're going to break all of those. Uh, so the one you install after this will not be very secure. Uh, so that's why if you lose a key, if one pops off and breaks, uh, we recommend replacing that individual key rather than an entire keyboard replacement. Now sometimes you can find these loose for sale on eBay or Amazon sites like that. Uh, oftentimes you cannot, in which case you would uh, purchase a used keyboard and then you would salvage a key off of that uh, for the repair and then you have uh, some spares too. So that's what we're going to show you how to do today. Uh, we're going to take a small flathead screwdriver, smaller the better, and we're going to slide this underneath your keycap, uh, this top part, but we're going to go underneath your retainer clip. Uh, so let's zoom in on the shift key. We'll show you how to do that one. It's one of the larger ones. Again, if you're looking for the normal size key, uh, a letter or number key, that will be in the description, uh, a link to that video. Uh, so we're just going to go under the shift key. You're going to take your flathead. I'll show you what it looks like once I get under there. Okay, so nice and put this under there. Okay, next one. Okay, so it came off fairly easily for a large key. As you can see, my screwdriver here is holding down these two black retainer clips. Um, and that was the idea. The, these retainer clips are what snap in, into your key. Um, so that's what we're trying to avoid is if you just grab this and rip off, uh, these will bend and snap and you'll break them. Uh, so that's why we hold them down when we're taking off the cap. Now if you see inside here, you have a couple things going on. You have one little rubber component in the middle. Uh, that's going to be the same with your smaller keys. Be very careful not to rip that up. It's very hard to get it back down. You'll see two retainer clips versus one for the normal size keys. Uh, and there's this stabilizer bar, this metal stabilizer bar running uh, along the length of the key there. So just put that up, get that out of the way. Uh, that comes out easily enough, it just slides out from its holes right there on top. Uh, so that's easy enough to take out. Uh, these retainer clips, there's two metal pins toward the bottom corners and one metal bracket toward the top middle holding this down. That's going to differ a little bit from these big ones that have four metal pins near each corner. Uh, so what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to pry this bottom part up, out from under these metal pins to get these retainer clips off safely. Now my screwdriver is a little too fat, so I'm going to swap this out for my little skinny plastic pry tool. I'm going to, but, oops, I'm going to push down on the top with my finger and try to pry it up from underneath. There we go. That came out fairly easily. Let me just show you what that looks like there. Okay, now what we're trying not to break in that process, which this came out very easily, is a little plastic protrusion there and another one right there. These things are very thin plastic, very tiny as you can see, very easily breakable. If I didn't pry that out correctly, it, it would have just snapped very easily. So that's usually where you're going to break this if you do break it. Uh, if you'll notice, these are also, these retainer clips are made up of two parts, an inside smaller part and an outside larger clip. Uh, they fit into each other by a pin on the left and a pin on the right. So if this falls apart, you can get that back together. And if you need a point of reference, if it falls apart and you drop them, if you need a point of reference of how they fit together, you can use this uh, clip up there. So now that we showed you how to take it out, we're just going to put it back in the reverse way. We're going to put that top in first, get that top part. Get that top part under the metal bracket there. And then once that's centered, we just push in each corner to snap it back in place. Just like that. So hopefully yours was that simple. Hopefully the, the two sides stayed together. These parts weren't broken. And then after that's done, you'd make sure your stabilizer bar is relatively in the right place. As, as you can see, it, it kind of floats in there. It doesn't snap into place. So 
kind of eyeball it, get it as centered as you can. Then you take your shift key or enter key or whatever key it is. Uh, make sure if, if it's your space key that you keep it orientated correctly when you take it off. There's no label here, so you can definitely get that upside down. Uh, but for the shift key, it's easy. You just put it on there, eyeball it, and then press. So that may take a few tries. Um, if you don't do this a lot, uh, maybe the stabilizer bar is a little off whack. Uh, maybe the shift key uh, keycap is a little not centered, so you'll press and, and some things will clip in and some things won't, and it won't work nice and cleanly. Just take it back off, try it again. Uh, it may take a couple tries, but as long as your retainer clip is not broken, uh, this should go down eventually very easily. If you've tried a bunch of times and it's just not going down, most likely uh, your retainer clip is not incorrectly. Uh, it could be damaged or the bar, the stabilizer bar, is not incorrectly. So those are the three main things if this is just not going down correctly. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, check out the frequently asked questions in the description. Uh, if yours isn't there, uh, leave us a message. We do try to get back to you a couple times a day. Uh, if this was helpful, please like and share. And if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair, uh, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.